You're quite good at turning me on. Well, that guy knows how to uh, how to do it properly. Puts his hands up and yeah. Well, I mean, you come running up to somebody like this, you don't have your hands up. Boom, you get shot. Shells are coming that way. I like the odds. That's a 155. No, just. Да. Let's make a. Let's make a portable mortar out of this shotgun. Dimitri, you talk more shit than me. I remember I had this 1X Cheryl. Oh my God, when her and I were done. Oh, I was not looking hot at all. I was broken man, broken man. Okay. Okay. They said like, we don't want to go. Uh, we're waiting for Russians, uh, their friends, and the guys who support Ukraine. Hello, my friends. We'll take any. We'll take any support we can get right now. <laughs> Humanitarian aid. Yeah. Mm. Preventative medicine is the best medicine. It's not not so much not so much running away. Uh, I've done a lot of that in my past. Um, it was just, it was just a compulsion. I, I worked really hard to rebuild after bankruptcy in Sweden, and I'd, I'd done well, and everything was coming together. I just got my tax number for my company, uh, which is. What do you do? Uh, so I work in the events industry for years, like dog shows, caravan shows, uh, food events, wine shows. Uh, yeah, I, I did events for the sake of events, and after the army, I went all over the world doing these events, and and. I had a real hard time in the February, and then March we got shut down with Corona, right. and that was me out of business. So, so I moved to Sweden. Why Sweden? These things are going to go, right? Good luck getting food from the Russians. And some people want to be evacuated from Novogansk today, and it's like, sorry, can't help you. But how does she know, how do they know which house to... Oh, they're all, they all like, houses where we, where they get going. called and be like, hey, my name is this and this, and I live here and here. And no, 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 no. There's no sound here. It's not. They, they didn't. People who live didn't call to her. Uh, she received the calls from the parents, from the sister, brothers of the people who oh, live yeah, here. Oh yeah, that as well. And she just came here asking you, like, uh, guys, uh, your sister. That's all we did in Novogansk. Basically. We would be driving up and be like, you definitely should. Are we I, still? Are we still? Shit, I, I got to get Sasha laid as well. Fuck. Well, we're going to Constant. Dinivka, right after, after Bakhmut, yeah. Yeah, no, no more cell reception here whatsoever. <laughs> Time to go. Time to go. Incoming! Well, that's a good one. Not right, incoming. More? Can, here, let, take that photo. It's okay. Okay, Babushka. <laughs> Something just landed here. Should you bring food, Asia? That's one of us. One. Mm -hmm. 
Let's... Dimitri! Here, come help. Over it. More? More? Yeah, so Смотрите, такая, я вам дала там свечи, это мне еще одной бабушке там надо. Вам я дала там такие большие. Хорошо? Только свечом мне не дала. Ну, я не вижу. Shall we go? Let's go. Where are you going? Here? Uh, this car? Yeah, uh, they come from the car now. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Here? Okay. I'll bring him down. <sighs> no, it's heavy. Here you go. Okay. Ulaska. Here, here. Давай, давай, давай. Give it to me, Bobushka. Don't be stubborn. What should do? Here, I, it's okay. Okay, okay. Here. In here? Okay, okay. Come on, давай. Okay, good last guy. You don't want to live like that. You go west, go west. Fuck's sake. All right, let's go. Let's be done. And then the rain stops when we come back in. <laughs> yeah, of course. There's a lot of outgoings. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Heroim <laughs> Slava. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, you want to drink rainwater? <laughs> Don't want to be Ukrainian. You're coming? Да, да. Yeah, they're right around the corner. Okay. That's a nice one. Suka <laughs> bliet! One guy. We got one so far. Out of everything? Out of everything so far, one guy. Look at this. 
Привет. Go, go. Oh, good. Say bo do Ukraine. Milet. It's all good. Еще один адрес и все. Hop over. Now you tend to run around help people. So now you I'll do some It's my foreigner complex, I'm not doing enough. Then maybe easier to go uh, to deliver the aid without the militaries and without the guys. It's maybe even safe. One van. But maybe for the some militaries, you know, it could be a good uh, experience of the front line if they never was somewhere in the places like this. I'd send the whole Lviv territory to defense <laughs> with their with their night vision goggles and their level yeah, four yeah, ceramic yeah, plates yeah, yeah. and the and that's what I'm saying. Jokes, jokes on them. They get sent here and then they're like, they don't want to fight anymore. It's they like it's quit. it's like in hospitalias. Who oh, is hell on earth? Fuck off. Andrew Mott. He was a tall, tall good, really good looking paramedic guy, yes. that cool voice. Yes. Very good guy, very yeah. competent. He's a very amazing guy. Yeah, he is. Amazing guy, like. I, he was in Kupasa. Is he? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Andrew. No. We met, I met him on, we were on the same train going into you. There was, there was three. On his last rotation, there was three Andrews. There was Andrew, Andrew, and Andre. Uh, Good to lose a chance. Well, do, do you know how he got into all this? He was in Haiti, and he he, he was there when the earthquake happened. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and and he kind of ended up like being this like uh, professional fucking disaster seeker. Yeah. Absolutely. I really, I don't have his details, and I really, I really liked him. Yeah. What a what a gentleman. One of the lads who worked with him, a uh, really good guy, he just went home, kind of in almost financial ruin, which happens to anybody who has anything who comes here. Um, now he's enrolled in paramedic school. Um, uh, he's from Saskatchewan. So, <laughs> oh, excellent. Oh, you need So, finish. Finish? No food? It's an interesting day. We've got to go see someone else and then I've got to go back to Kramatorsk and I've got to get a doctor and I've got to take him to another town about 20 kilometers away to get him laid. Yeah. Do you have a plans for today? Yeah. yeah. He's, he's got like a girlfriend, a booty call that I, I bring him to. I've brought him once. and But uh, the Instagram stories, are like, I just honest with people don't lie and, and like it's women like I thought feminists would be like yeah but no women are like yeah here's 20 euros uh, good for Sasha uh, and they write me like personal messages I've been on a dry spell too it's been a while for me no because I don't like filming Ukrainians if, unless I ask permission if they speak some English because it's 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 the context yeah and he, he's 27 year old doctor and and so it's just who is this booty um she's she's a girl in about 20 kilometers away I, I don't know she's like 20 21 um she lives in this town where we go sometimes first time we went he got stood up so like I, I, i'm not really good at the editing but where will you guys go after this yeah you're going to Nipro, are you yeah we were there a couple days ago No, it was a it was a side quest. Um, Three actually. It's there's a pain in the arse. Um, so I got a defibrillator and I got a vitals monitor. Uh, a, a vitals monitor, like a diagnostics machine, and um, 
the cables, uh, we went to Barvankova to get them. Uh, a friend, a friend left them there for me, and uh, I don't have, I don't have the right cables. And even though it fits it, it's not compatible with the machine. And um, so we had to go to Pavlorod, and then the next thing is, is well, there's a medical supplier in Dnipro, and then he couldn't. He, he'd have to order them from Kiev. He says, we'll go to the hospital. And then we went to one hospital and they ripped through everything. Like, you wouldn't do that in Canada or England. They're like, no, NHS rules, you, who are you? But they, they, we still couldn't find the right cable. But it, it was a, a medical, um, it was an engineer who works in a hospital for the NHS who contacted me on Instagram. He says, take a picture. He's like, no, you need a Massimo cable. I'll, uh, I'll find the link for you. You need this, this, and this. And it was, so we still don't have the right cables, but... Um, we are supposed to get an invoice Monday. Because uh, the guys weren't able to confirm it today. Mm -hmm. But they were able... Uh, they're going to take a... They're, they're a weekend weekend. What are we doing? That one's going this way, this I one's going well, this we're way. We're supposed to follow so that one. We're supposed to follow that one. Yeah. Oh, is that babushka coming? Yeah. Let's go help her. Always a sucker for a babushka. coming come with me just get that out of the way we're going in Here. take this oh okay. no okay little 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 show show I put this in the back. Good, she came. Uh, we've got a guy to get there. No, the, the family, they're gonna pick them up as well. Oh, they're gonna take them. Yeah. To Pokrovsk? To Dnipro. Oh, oh, even better. Yeah. They have some shelters in Dnipro where you can stay for three months. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I would take the EU, I don't know if it's still going, I don't watch the news, but I would take the EU, well, it's going, well, the going is good. And I would, I would claw myself in there. Um, all, the go all the guys in my battalion, um, their families are in Italy, Poland, Germany, some of them still in Ukraine, but most of them, they've got nothing to worry about. I mean, you miss your kids, but my mate Alex, his parents are in Dnipro, he's seen them 20 minutes since the war started, and, and we're only on the Zaporizhia line, and if you don't see your family, it doesn't matter where they are. Yeah. His son, six years old in Germany, misses his dad, he's speaking some German, he's playing football, brilliant. Dimitri and I ended up uh, moonlighting, uh, driving the press around. You are a good looking man, Dimitri. I'm trying to be the sexiest I, I can be. You really, you know, like there's a few things you could scrub up, but you would be... <laughs> <laughs>